is Cassie. It's Richie. So today we're going to be doing our January favorite. That month went by so fast. It did. It's ridiculous. I can't believe January is over soon. It's like so crazy. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing our January favorites for you guys. And since we're talking about months and stuff, I want to talk about one of my favorites this month. I think it's going to be my favorite for the entire year. And it's this calendar that my friend Cass um, designed and printed. A huge poster, but you can see the whole 2016, like an overview of it, which is really great for me as a visual person because I don't really like those like planners mm -hmm. where you flip through because you can't like see the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas on my actual calendar that I have sitting on my door, I see it every time I'm in my room, every time I close the door. It's just like right there. I showed it to Richie and now Richie wants one. I actually ordered one. Like Cassie, I don't like planners. If I can't really see what I need to do, I probably won't do it. I think it's really nice that it's laid out for you like in your face, like this is what you need to do for the specific day. It's funny because we're planning something for next week and then Cassie just goes to her calendar and she's like, just like, well, I have a paper to do. So yeah, it's yeah. really convenient and nice. Her thing is called the common drive and what the common drive is, it's like everyone has a common drive, right? To like focus and get things done. So each month, write down what you want to focus on and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I bought like these cute little stickers. So I just like stick, for it's like in categories. Yeah. So you can just see it and you see everything you've done like in the past January. I really like it. <laughs> if you guys want to check it out and if you're a neat freak like me, go get one. Link in the bio. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my Case to Fly case. Actually this one is the new case they came up with. It's called the New Standard and it's really good because it feels like jelly. Sort of. Sort of, but it's hard enough to like keep your phone safe and you don't need to worry about your phone cracking or anything. Cassie actually has one too. And her phone's cracked and have you been dropping it? When I cracked it the first time, I didn't have a case on it or I had a really crappy case. But I just put this on and then when it dropped, like it didn't crack any more than it already did, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they've been marketing it as like a stylish, durable case. Um, and I think it's doing a pretty good job so far. It is. <laughs> so the next favorite I have is something that I just keep on forgetting to talk about and it's this Casio watch oh, yeah. that I bought off of my friend. She had one of those Instagram accounts where you could just buy her closet pretty much and she sold it to me for $30 and I believe it retails for $60 and I can't believe how much use I'm actually getting out of it. I really like this because it's not like the normal like bigger Casio watch, not heavy. Usually when I wear watches, I don't really like check the time <laughs> I don't. It's just for fashion, right? But for this watch, I'll actually do it because it's just like right in my head, like digital. I don't really have to mm -hmm. think about it too much, which is kind of sad to say. But yeah, I really like it and it goes with like a lot of my jewelry, as you can see. I'm really silvery person. Really cute and dainty. And yeah, so I actually have a lot, a lot of makeup favorites to show you guys. These magical waters. <laughs> oh my goodness. These have been just thebomb.com. I got this on Boxing Day at Shoppers Drug Mart and it's the Bioderma Sensio Bio. Okay, you guys have heard of this. It's like a cult fave pretty much by now. A toner and makeup remover put into one and I use these exfoliating cotton pads. There's exfoliating cotton pads? What? Wow, that's good. I can get that. You should. Cause then it removes like all my makeup. It's just really good. Um, and then, wait. Speaking about exfoliation, <laughs> I have this Snip and Fab exfoliate. So this one's pretty cool because I actually ran out of my toner and I think this one is really good. I got a sample from Ulta a long time ago, a really small sample and I really loved it. I was so happy to find this at Shoppers Drug Mart and they're just like these really thin pads that really like take out your makeup because I noticed that when I wash my face with a face wash it doesn't really fully take out all your makeup so this one actually helps me clean out my face properly and it also is an exfoliator so I think that's really good and oily. I have oily skin yeah yeah I have really dry skin so to combat that I have this oh my gosh I'm just loving it <laughs> yeah okay so I have this 
Nivea cream and I didn't really think I'd like it that much but then I put it on like before my makeup I was in a rush because I had dry patches and then throughout the day I noticed that the dry patches like disappeared and it comes with a lot and it's pretty inexpensive as well so I highly recommend that but yeah anyways so I was talking about my magical waters <laughs> and this is something that I should have had like ages ago because it's just really good like I've been you just guys, you just have to try it. When I first heard about this on YouTube, I thought that it would be super chemically when you like sprayed mm -hmm. it on, but it's actually really refreshing. Mm -hmm. So what I do is that I put it on as a primer before I do my makeup and then after my makeup. And I've noticed that the longevity of like my makeup has been better than it was before and it doesn't feel cakey. Um, nor does it feel like really powdery as well. Yeah, every time I go to Cassie's house, she would just like spray it on my face. And, like, it's yeah. good. I, I definitely should get one. See? It works well. But yeah, so those are my Magical Water Skincare etc. <laughs> um, what do you want to talk about? So the next one is this Bath and Body Works Lotion. And this was actually given to me by my auntie. This one I was actually really iffy about because it was apple. Like who wants to smell like apples, right? But um, this actually doesn't smell like apples. Like when I asked my friend what it smelled like, they didn't say apples, which was good. I right? said strawberry, right? Is it strawberries? And I love strawberries. And this one actually moisturizes my hands, so it's in my bag all the time because I need my lotion. My hands get really dry. You hate lotion, right? I hate lotion. Yeah. So I got this sample, and it's the Japanese Radiance Primer. I put it underneath my foundation after I spray the Pro Longwear, and then it just like makes you. It just gives you that extra glowy like shine and I really really like it and along with that I have this new brand new NARS spring palette drop of orange juice on it if you guys are looking for like the perfect like blush bronzer highlight kind of set that has like different kinds of blushes too this is the perfect one for you guys it's just so pretty it is so pretty so we have Laguna and then some blushes that I don't know the names of. And then there's like a little highlight thing that I like to mm -hmm. put underneath my bronzer. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty and next I like it. Okay, so the lipstick that I have been wearing like and what all you are the wearing. time and what I am wearing right now. This lipstick called Stone by MAC. It goes well with my hair. And I don't know, it's just the perfect like purplish brown, whatever. For the winter and I also like mixing it with this nude color cinnamon by Maybelline. It's like a lip balm, like a tinted lip balm. It's really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it so, so much. much. Obviously we like it. I love Maybelline lipsticks recently. It's just really moisturizing. We got sent the cinnamon one a couple months back and then I was just like I want to try more colors from their line. So these are all like such really nice like nudie colors. The one I'm wearing right now is called Truffle Tease and it's more of like a sandy kind of nude. And then Cinnamon is more of a brownie nude. Mm -hmm. And I have this other one called Stormy Sahara and it is more of like a reddish nude. So you just got all your nudes. Mm -hmm. And it smells nice too. It does. It pleasant. Is. Pleasant. Also, this has been a really popular lip liner in the Instagram and YouTube community and I jumped on the bandwagon because I really really wanted like a brownish like lip liner mm -hmm. and this is called Strip Down and it actually goes well with like so many or like all of yeah, these colors right. and also just a lot of Are my lipsticks. Right now? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I really like it just yeah. like for over drying, you know. Yeah. It's really good. You should get it. So a fashion piece that I've been wearing a lot, like I've probably been over wearing it. Yeah, I can attest to that. It's these culottes that I got from Forever 21. I was really shocked to find it there. It's a really clean cut. I don't know. It's just really straight and it's the perfect length for me. I can just wear booties if I want to dress it up or I can just wear a pair of chucks and it looks so cool. And I love that look right now, the really like baggy sort of. Look. So the last makeup favorite that I'm going to be talking about is a brand, a Canadian brand actually, mm -hmm. it's called Marcel. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Canadian. Oh. And I actually ran out of my Stila eyeliner and then the dupe that Richie found before, I think they discontinued yeah. it, which I is kind of do that. really sad and I kind of did feel like spending $20 on an eyeliner. So I opted to try out the Marcel Double Precision liquid eyeliner pen and it's really it's actually really good like I really enjoy Wait, why it is that double because on the first side you got a thicker side okay, okay. and then like to you fill have, 
Yeah, I like to fill in. Um, actually, I use the thick side first, and then like for the details, like to get the really, really thin point, I use the brush tip applicator. Actually, really similar to the Stila one anyways. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit more um, tapered in and thinned out. So yeah, I really like this. And along with that, I have the Marcel Perfect Brow, um, brow Sculpting it's really cool. Gel thing. Richie was like really wanted to try it out because it looked really cool. <laughs> Look how small the brush is. It's just like it's so like satisfying to like brush your hair. It keeps it together while coating it at the same time. <laughs> I'm not sure if they sell this in the States, but I believe Shoppers Drug Mart has this um, and Rexall as well. So if you want to try it out, these are really good. So let's talk about these glasses. I've been trying to find um, the perfect clear frames and I finally found them and they're actually surprisingly really cheap and it's really good quality this is called primrose primrose yeah primrose by i buy direct it's really weird how cheap their glasses are yeah you guys yeah. should definitely check them out i actually have a clear framed one but it's more like a nudish color mm -hmm. we may be doing a collaboration video with them soon but it's still in the works, we're not sure yet. I actually have been loving these ones. So and in Richie's hair video, you guys have been wondering about these. And yeah, they're from I Buy Direct as well. And they're called the St. Michael, I think, or Mitchell, Michelle? St. <laughs> Michelle or something like that. Um, we'll link all the designs or the styles down below. A lot of my friends from youth say that I look like I'm wearing goggles, but you guys don't understand. Like. I you just called them out in the video? Yeah, yeah, I was like, you guys don't understand fashion. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, but like people, it's a hit or miss. Like people don't. No, it looks good on you though. People, like pe some people think it's weird. Some people think it's cool. Just wear what you want, but girl. But just wear what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Don't let it phase you. Just wear what you want. Be confident in what you wear. If you're not confident, then then you're going to not wear it, right? <laughs> what? Wise words from Richie Pumpkin and everyone. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I've been loving these glasses and they go as well with my piercing, which has also been a favorite. Just an update for those who are curious. Um, it's still in the healing process, obviously. It takes a while to heal, but it doesn't hurt like at all. Like it's crusting a little bit. I just gotta clean it a little more, mm -hmm. but it's like not even a big deal. If you guys wanna see a review of like everything, um, a link down to the video that I uploaded a while ago. And lastly, my favorite, I actually oh, yeah. had a lot of favorites, but um, if you guys saw from our thrift haul, Richie had this, the MA1 bomber jacket, yeah. a really expensive one, and you guys seem to really like it. And I actually have a little bit of a dupe for you guys. So I got this from 2020 Avenue, and I've been really loving like just the whole bomber thing. Yeah. Like it's just bombers are just so easy to wear. But this one is like super long, as you can see. It also has the orange lining on the inside and it's really super comfortable. It. I really love it. I might yeah. have to actually buy it. You should. That's about it for a January haul. Hope you guys found some inspiration and things that you might want to have um, or try out. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Cassie Masenkai. Richie Pum and one And at We Are To The Nines. We are still featuring people. Hashtag We Are To The Nines to be featured. And do you want to say anything else? Um, no. Oh. That's pretty good. What would what do I don't know. I thought you wanted to say something. No, I don't have anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I okay. guess that's it. That's Thank it. you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye! Bye. Alright. <laughs> what do you mean, really fast? January. Oh, yeah, my words are. No. January. No, January in general, like the month. Oh, went by so fast. I thought you meant like the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's written. <laughs> you said it up louder. Kind of like blurs. Sweet. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Orange juice. Has been our all time favorite. It's just, I have three cartons of orange juice in my <laughs> fridge. And my parents know that. I love orange juice. And it's just like in my fridge. I opened it and I was like, whoa, I have so much orange juice. It kind of like blurs. Sweet. You know, I don't know. Yeah. The bus one. Whoa. You didn't even notice? Oh I love my God. orange juice, guys. Orange juice. What I like to do is I like to add some ginger ale. And she thinks it tastes like beer. But um, it's really Slow good. Up. It's that really weird 
Look how small. Whoa, what's wrong <laughs> with your voice? Can't get her glasses. 